it is not the right time. It would be rude to make Lady Clark wait any longer. This poor woman is very ill. This woman is suffering. She is in no state to have a conversation. Mr. Poirot? My respects, madame. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Have you seen the nurse? She should have been here by now. Oh, I'm sorry. The telephone in the hall is ringing. The Clark Residence, Detective Hercule Poirot speaking. How do you do, Mr. Poirot? I'm Lady Clark's nurse. I wanted to let you know that I won't be able to come for her injection today. Might Miss Gray be able to do it? She has just left, but I will take care of it. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Um, you'll find the skeleton key to open the medicine cabinet hidden in the lion trophy. You can count on me. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Oh, thank you kindly. Goodbye, Mr. Poirot. Here is the skeleton key. April 1925, Aceh Province, Sumatra. Lady Clark is in pain. I have to give her an injection of morphine to ease her. It's closed. Ah, oh, Mr. Poirot. Oh, I feel better now. Thank you for your help. You asked for me, chère madame? Yes, yes, of course, I wish to speak with you. But what was it about? No doubt. You wish to talk to me about what happened to your husband? Ah, yes. Oh, poor Carmichael. 
Has the madman who killed him been caught? Not yet, chère madame. There was a great many people in Chester on the day of the murder. Indeed. People go straight to the beach. They don't come near Coombe's side. So, there were no strangers around the house that day? Who said that? The people who live here. Your brother-in-law, Miss Gray. Miss Gray? Oh, I don't like her. Frankly, not today. I see she should go immediately. You are to do so, not really? I'm pleased that you approve. The others have been taken in by her. At least you can see through the self See what he's up to. Oh. This subject will probably be useful to me. This couple appears to be a fun. They talk and Sir Carmichael, but they, but they did not have any children. This thing appears to be broken. Things will not be crossed. Doesn't make sense. This part is working. This part is working. This part is working. Make any sound. Doesn't make any sound. Doesn't make any sound. Such a probably be useful. I must find a way to wake her up gently. I am not going to leave Combside now. I still have some things to do. I must find a way to wake her up gently. It is not the right time. I must find a way to wake her up gently. I must find a way to wake her up gently.
I must find a way to wake her up gently. This subject will probably be useful to me. The bronze comb is preventing me. about ah yes uh, uh, thora gray oh carmichael had great esteem for her but for me she was nothing but a hypocrite you're probably right huh? you have seen through her i'm so pleased that i've oh, convinced you Well, I hate to think about Thora Gray. So you all agree how nice it is to be all of the same mind. I do have to you very well, though. Outwardly. But she's hiding something. I think she tried to poison me. Poison her? Every day appears to like her. It proves she knows she's doing. She's manipulative and she's a liar. A liar? Let's see, didn't she say on the day of the crime that was around inside? That's correct. Well, at eleven o'clock, I saw her talk to someone. Really? And what was this man like? An ordinary sort of man with a very plain face. Oh, I don't remember well. A gentleman? No, he was not, not a gentleman. The elephant was in. Hello? Poirot, is that you? Hastings here. Thank you for calling. Have you received a new letter from the murderer? No, thank goodness. How are things in Churston? I question Lady Clark, but I will not leave until I have examined everything of interest to me here. Fortunately, Franklin is absent, and I have a skeleton key. Have you seen Thora Gray again? Briefly. But rest assured... I intend to summon her to London soon. She's a fascinating girl. But secretive. I would like to ask her a few questions. Poirot, she wouldn't hurt a fly.
Each to his own, my friend. Yours are pretty often mine old ladies that have the maladies. Poirot, are you mocking me? No ill intended, rest assured. A bientôt, mon ami.